This sketchbook has changed my life or how I see sketchbooks. I've used all of these sketchbooks in only two ways, but there's a third way that I recently discovered using this sketchbook. It's not about the, the brand, it's not about what type of um, sketchbook it is. It is about what I did in the sketchbook that is much different from these. Let's start in the beginning of the journey of these sketchbooks with this one. This is my very first watercolor sketchbook and here's the first way that you can use a sketchbook. You experiment, you do swatches, you do like little landscapes, uh, practice your gradients, as I said, make finished paintings or well, like I started very small, trying new things, new watercolors, experimenting a lot. This is one way that you can use your sketchbook, which is not a bad way to use it because you're experimenting, you're learning, but it is, I don't feel like that was the best way for me to use it. And I actually like, you can see that this tiny sketchbook also was a bit experimentational, but I always kinda veered into the side of the second way of using the sketchbooks, which is basically always doing a finished painting. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, finished paintings. These, most of these are plein air, so this was my little plein air uh, sketchbook. On this sketchbook, I just did many, many just finished paintings. On this one, I was practicing my scales trying to apply it, I pretty much didn't do it right. More practicing gradients. And this is all great. Don't get me wrong, this is all great, but there was something missing from this experimentation and this sort of usage of the sketchbook. But at least I like that on this sketchbooks, I didn't get too romantic about them. I just played with them. Did a lot of thumbnails, this first in black and white and then I tried it in color. Just and then I just went for finished paintings all the time. Just trying it once, trying it once. However, this sketchbook has changed my life or how I see sketchbooks. I learned a new way to use my sketchbook. It, it came out of pure experimentation, pure inspiration and it developed new things uh, out of me that I didn't know I had in me. So if you've been following this channel, you know that I have been burnt out. I stopped working. I have, haven't been working for three months and I even had to stop this YouTube channel because it was affecting my health or at least it wasn't allowing me to really try to recharge my batteries. But I was in Turkey for two weeks and there I was really able to reach, recharge and like relax, but I still took my painting stuff because I was like, hey, better have it than not. I wasn't thinking about making YouTube videos at all, but when I was there, I was at the beach just laying down and what I started doing, actually not even at the beach. This is from other days that you might see a video of another day. This I started doing in the plane. I started just playing around with graphite. I started playing around with my lines and with like shading with my tools. And I even like made like little notes of where I was doing it. This I made way before this. But then I started making thumbnail like studies and as, as well like practicing my gradients with, uh, with lead holder or lead pencil. Then I made a like little sketch and I made a bigger sketch. But the point is I started experimenting with more than one medium and doing more than one thing. I wasn't just doing paintings. I was also doing thumbnails. I was also practicing uh, my, my gradients, uh, my shading skills. I was practicing how well can I render and like read and compose the picture. And then I took it a step further. This was a very complicated scene that I, I thought this is not looking right. So what I started doing was 
breaking it down and actually trying to write notes about it and seeing and trying different things and as you can see I basically just focused on the little parasol or umbrella or however it's called because I really wanted to understand the values at play I at first I tried with color then I tried to like isolate it wrote some notes then tried something new then like wrote some things that I thought that might improve it the next time and then I did like very very small because I was like I don't need to paint bigger I can paint smaller and then I was like I don't need to paint at all I could just you know do it in, with graphite or with charcoal I didn't have charcoal at the time but I just did it with graphite and then looked at which one looked best and then try to apply it again um, in color I also was doing something like I wanted to paint the scene but I didn't have the right composition or there was so much stuff in the scene that I couldn't really put myself to paint that because it was just too complicated so I also started um, trying new compositions and then just reordering the things that were already there just choosing what I want to be in the scene what was important for me I will show you the finished painting of um, or the attempt of the plein air painting that was planned like this now as you can see I didn't do anything else but now what I have from this experience is lots of playfulness and experimentation and very focused practice of little things that make the bigger difference like values like composition I didn't focus on how well did I copy the place I didn't focus on how much detail I added I didn't focus on how well I could draw it was a lot more about the bigger elements and about really trying to understand my subject and what I was looking at and how the light and color plays a role and blah 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 you know all that drill you've heard it from other people smarter than me more capable I'm just here trying to share things that I experience or like not come up with but like discover in a way that I feel like this way of using a sketchbook is a lot better um, than just trying to make finished paintings every single time you sit down with a sketchbook. I'm very excited about it because that also brought a lot of playfulness out of me, that also brought a lot of curiosity out of me and really trying to make me think about the things I'm looking at, not just trying to blindly copy and I think that's the quality that we all as artists want to achieve. Not it's not about the motor skills and how well you can paint like exactly paint something it's about the feeling that you get from painting and the your subject like it's not about painting the subject it's just you know the feeling itself so i believe that a sketchbook should be an experience should be a way for you to keep memories and most of all some place where you can go back and read as if it was a textbook of your understanding of your development of your artistic journey Whew, that was a lot <laughs> I hope that some of that made sense thank you very much for being here I'm very happy that I'm sort of back and making videos I don't want to say that I'm back because my 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 stamina my energy just really keeps going up and down but I really wanted to share this with you guys uh, I hope that it is useful and I hope I hope blah, 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 I hope to see you again soon oh yeah I almost forgot to show you guys the finished painting uh, there you go uh, it was okay it wasn't perfect, but I feel like it worked pretty well. And now I, now when I see this, I 
just I'm transported back to Turkey. I'm not gonna tell you what my mistake. I'm not gonna tell you what my mistakes were, but I am still proud of it, and that's the most important thing. Let's be proud about our art and our progress and our curiosity and all that good stuff. And now I'll see you next time. Bye.